Good morning, my darlings. I was not planning on starting the vlog today. I was going to start vlogging tomorrow, but unexpectedly it is the most beautiful day today. And when we have a blue sky morning, it just instantly puts me in such a good mood. <laughs> I've actually started planning my vlogging around my hair wash days. So today, confession time, is day three on the dry shampoo. So please forgive the state of my hair today. But I have a few new bits and bobs. I did an order from And Other Stories and I wanted to do a little try on with you this morning. I've been intrigued. If you saw my 2021 trend video, you'll know that I mentioned jumper vests or sweater vests as one of the key trends for this year and I really wanted to try it out. There was an Isabel Moron sweater vest that I fell in love with but my general rule is if something is a trend piece I always like to go to the high street, try it out, see how it works with my wardrobe. So this is the one from And Other Stories and I'm just not too sure if it's a little bit I don't know, is it a little bit masculine for my personal style? I'm not too sure. I guess the fact that I've got my hair tied up doesn't really help. Imagine if I had nice, lovely, loose waves as usual. But then I wasn't actually too sure what to pop on underneath because it's really chilly. I thought today I would put on a roll neck, but then I guess a shirt underneath a jumper vest like this would be really nice as well. You know when you're just not 100% comfortable in what you're wearing that is how i feel right now so i'm going to try on some other bits and bobs um and you guys can help me decide what i'm going to keep and what needs returning i was doing the very very last stages of my beauty draw clear out this morning as well and i decided to pop on a lipstick which used to be my absolute favorite everyday lipstick i think before I discovered Tom Ford Sable Smoke, or maybe it was the one that I would always put in my handbag because it's a heck of a lot cheaper than Tom Ford Sable Smoke. And I don't know if they do this anymore, but I need to buy myself a new one because this is definitely around two or three years old. I probably should not have put it on this morning, but it's just such a lovely pink shade. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine in the shade 642. And I just used to wear this all the time and I do absolutely love it. It's one of those lipsticks that's really, really balmy, really comfortable, and I just love the colour. So I'm going to chuck this one away because it is scarily old, but I think I'm going to see if I can find another one. And this morning I am also bejeweled in my favourite pieces from Anna Luisa. Anna Luisa have got their January or actually their Valentine's Day sale going on right now. It's 15% off everything. I will leave a link to Anna Luisa jewellery at the very top of the description box. So the earrings that I'm wearing right now are actually new. Anna Luisa very kindly asked me if I'd like to choose a couple of new pieces to wear while I tell you about the sale. So you know how much I love pearl jewellery. In fact, I was re-watching some vlogs from, I don't know, I, last night I was just feeling a little bit nostalgic, a little bit sad that we're not able to travel at the moment. So I was re-watching some really old vlogs and mostly mine and Freddie's travel vlogs. I was watching our New York vlog, our Palm Springs vlog, um, and also our vlog from Mijev, which is actually why I chose to wear this outfit now, because it very much reminds me of the kind of thing that I wore in Mijev with the polo neck and the knit and I was wearing pearl earrings throughout all of those vlogs. Some of these videos are like two or three years old but I was like oh my goodness the jewellery just hasn't dated. It still looks like that. The pearls are just so classic and so timeless that I just loved how it looked and I always think the pearls are just really flattering. It just brings the loveliest light to your face especially if you've got a pearl necklace on as well so I will always Whenever I go jewellery shopping, I will always literally type in Pearl into whatever website I'm on. And Anna Luisa have a really, really lovely selection. You'll probably remember this necklace. It's probably one of my most worn necklaces of all time. And yet, I think for adding a little bit of your own personal style to a wintry outfit where, let's face it, it's quite hard to accessorise in winter because so much of our body is covered. But I think a little Pearl pendant over a jumper is absolutely perfect, as well as the matching earrings. I am so self-conscious about my hair today. Honestly, this is why I vlog 
on the hair wash day. I just feel like it's so flat and horrible, but never mind. Back to the jewelry. So yes, Valentine's Day is coming up and I feel like jewelry is such a lovely thing to treat yourself to, treat a girlfriend to, treat your friends to. And one of the reasons why I love Ana Luisa, first, actually firstly, jewelry can be so, so, so expensive, but on Ana Luisa, they don't have any crazy markups. You don't have a middleman, so even though the pieces are such gorgeous quality, their prices are very reasonable. They start at around the $39 mark and you can get the most beautiful pieces without any crazy luxury markups. But also, sustainability is really important to Ana Luisa. So they actually aim to 100% offset their carbon emissions, which is I think it's unheard of with jewelry brands. It's so, so impressive to me. They're very responsible with how they source their materials, um, how they reduce waste, every little thing in their supply chain that they really, th they really think about, which is amazing. And also the quality of the pieces is definitely not like, even though it's affordable, it's not throwaway trend pieces. As I've mentioned, they're very classic, very timeless. So the kind of things you're gonna have in your jewelry collection for years and years to come, they have a 365 day um, return guarantee so you can be 100% sure that the quality is absolutely tip top and all the jewelry that they make they make it in quite small batches so they don't want to have any wastage and it just makes the pieces even more special so definitely check them out if you haven't already i know that so many of you have fallen in love with ana luisa as i have throughout the last year i'll leave the pieces i'm wearing linked down below so everything on the website right now is 15 percent off which is amazing perfect time to treat yourself treat somebody else why not just make someone's day even if it's a family member, a sister, an auntie, I think just sending a nice little bit of jewelry, receiving a lovely piece of jewelry is just an instant way to make someone's day and I feel like it's such an easy thing to do at the moment. So if you are in the US, the last delivery date for Valentine's Day is February the 2nd and international is February the 5th. So you've still got a little bit of time. The sale is on now. So happy jewelry shopping, my darlings. Now I'm gonna try on and let me show you the new bits. This is my very, very tonal rail. Don't worry, not all of this is new in. This stuff back here are existing pieces in my wardrobe, but then these are the new in bits. So we have this gorgeous cardigan. I just really fell in love with the button details on here. And other stories have been doing quite a few different knits with very unusual buttons. And I just think they are so, so pretty. It looks almost antique -y, as though someone has foraged in these unusual buttons from an antique shop. So I love how that looks. This kind of neckline is also really beautiful for showing off some nice jewelry. Couldn't resist this because I am living in long cardigans at the moment. And this is kind of a cross between a long line cardigan and also um, a jumper dress. I think it is a wrap dress. So I'm gonna try that on again in a second. This one has quite an unusual shoulder shape. They're a little bit padded, um, not padded, voluminous at the top of the shoulders. So I hope that this suits me. I do have quite wide shoulders for my frame. So I'm often a little bit conscious of padded shoulders. Again, it's probably gonna look a little bit harsh with my hair in a ponytail, but maybe I'll save this one for trying on tomorrow when I've done something nice with my hair. Um, and then I do love a square neckline. There's something a little bit old fashioned about it. It's a little bit, um, a little bit of a nod to the historic trend that we're seeing, and I like how fitted this one is. A good little layering piece. And then this is not from Under the Stories. This is actually from Ralph Lauren. Not a website that I shop from that regularly, but I just am in love with cozy knits at the moment. Just cozy Sherpa jumpers you can just whack on top when you're lounging around at home, but also feeling a little bit smart. I saw this on the website and thought I would give it. A try. Okay, I've got the first top on, the one with the square neckline, and there is something just so elegant about this neckline shape. I absolutely love it. I think it is so... It's such a simple design detail, but I think it makes such a statement, especially if we are doing any Zoom meetings, you know, when the top half just needs to be a little bit... A little bit nice and I have switched up my necklaces as well. I have popped on the Ana Luisa, the chunkier chain and the little pearls. I think that looks so lovely layering up the necklaces when you do have such a such a neckline to play with. It's quite fitted and I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't worn anything so fitted in quite some time. I need to pop on a different coat hanger because it is poking up at the top a little bit. Or actually maybe that was just how I was holding it. But yeah, you can see it's pretty. Um, 
pretty fitted. I probably would wear a strapless bra next time I wear this because you're very, very close. I thought I would swap mirrors. Yeah, you're very close to being able to see the straps from my brassiere, but I do love how fitted this is. In normal times, I probably, if I was having a lovely day in London, I would maybe wear this with a midi skirt, perhaps even a tulle skirt. When I wear something tight on top, I feel free to get a little bit more voluminous on the bottom. So a nice A-line skirt with a belt with this. I think would look absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I have just popped in these little hoop earrings. I've just popped one of them in, um, but I thought that the camera probably wouldn't focus on it in my ear, but it looks they look so, so beautiful when they're in because the front of the hoop is just covered in these little sparkles, which is so, so effective. And then you see the little hanging pearl as well. They're honestly so stunning. I really don't know if you'll be able to see them. If I zoom in. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus, but they're just so, so effective when they're in your ear because you can see the little diamonds. I think this is possibly one of my favorite pairs of earrings I have ever tried on. So the earrings are a great hit. I'm not 100% sure about the jumper. Again, I do love the neckline. I love that it's a big low scoop. Excuse my hair. I really thought that I needed to have my hair down to try this jumper on, but I really am having an awful hair day. I'm not sure how flattering the voluminous sleeves are. I don't know. Again, I should be wearing a more voluminous um, garment on my lower half. I don't think tight on top and tight on bottom particularly suits me that much. I do love the the material um, but I just feel like I have jumpers in my wardrobe that I do prefer to this so I'm not gonna keep the knit as lovely as it is I just think let's be honest I have a lot <laughs> of cream knitwear and it's gonna take some something pretty special to get added to my collection I don't know what's happened to me but I honestly feel so much more comfortable in just a more casual knit at the moment. Would you call this a knit? It's more like a fleece, isn't it? So this is the Ralph Lauren kind of Sherpery cardigan. Obviously it's way more expensive than the jumpers from And Other Stories, um, but I feel like this is the kind of thing I'm gonna get so much wear out of. I was wearing, can you see in the background, I was wearing my Sherpa pullover that is a few years old from Revolve. I've been living in that the past few days in the house with just a t-shirt on underneath and then when it gets too hot by the fire, I just whip it off because it is really big and voluminous and cozy. But yeah, this is the one from Ralph Lauren and it's definitely the kind of thing that just suits my style so much more at the moment. But again, it's very elevated and more true to my personal style thanks to the pearls. Anyone that's been watching my channel for a while is gonna be like, Josie, you have changed, you have changed so much. What is, what's with all these practical clothes? But it's got so many pockets. It's got little zippy pockets down here. It's even got a zippy pocket up here, which if I was skiing, I could put my little um, lift pass in here. But for now, I don't know, I could pop a lip balm or some tissues or something. I think the price of this is the price of all the other and other stories jumpers combined, but do you see what I mean about having the slim on the bottom and more voluminous on the top instead of having it slim and slim or voluminous and voluminous? It's just all about balancing the silhouette. So seeing as I'm mostly, this is the first time I've worn jeans in such a long time, seeing as I'm mostly wearing leggings at the moment, I am enjoying these slightly more chunky, knitted pieces and this feels more like old school Josie a little bit more feminine a little bit more elegant so this is the one with the detailed buttons and I do love this button detail I think it just adds something very special to a knit I feel like all I wear at the moment and I'm sure so many people can relate is knitwear <laughs> whether I'm leaving the house or staying at home all day, all I wear is knitwear. I cannot imagine what I'm gonna do in summer when it's no longer appropriate. So I'm always looking for knitwear pieces that have some little extra design details. So I do absolutely love this, but... If we pan into my overflowing, and let's be honest, no one needs as much knitwear. If we do come in here, I'm pretty sure I have got some jumpers very similar. Yeah, this doesn't have details on the um, buttons, but I do love that one from And Other Stories. I've got a lot of And Other Stories knitwear in here. I'm sure I've got one somewhere which has little bees. Oh, here it is. So this is my little under the stories jumper with the bees on it. And maybe these trousers are just a little bit more low rise than what I'm used to, but I do not want to have any tummy showing. Oh my goodness. I do love the kind of lattice detail on this cardigan. Maybe I just need to wear it with some more high-waisted trousers. It is so, so lovely. But again, do I need another gorgeous cardigan? 
<laughs> okay, I'm really experimenting now. I'm not sure um, what I would style underneath this. At the moment, you're gonna laugh, I have actually got on my... <laughs> no, this looks ridiculous. I'm not sure. I think this is actually more of a cardigan than a dress because even with it tied up, I don't actually know if I love how it looks when it's tied up because where the pockets are is very, very hippy. Um, so I think actually this would look better worn open. I can't actually open it at the moment because I'm just wearing a little vest and then my ridiculous Gucci tights, which every time I try on a new outfit, I do try to see if the Gucci tights will work because as I mentioned previously, I don't recommend them. I think they are a ridiculously overpriced and not actually very effective purchase. They don't keep your legs warm. They're actually not very well structured. They don't even have a proper waistband to them. They don't even have proper toe caps to the tights. Um, but because I spent a stupid amount of money on them, I am determined to wear them a little bit, but I don't think this is the outfit. I do love them with my, um, I've got an H&M jumper dress, which has got quite a high slit and they look nice just poking out from that. But I tried this outfit on with my gorgeous Prada boots and yet because the jumper dress or the cardigan is quite long I just needed a little bit more height than I was going to get from my flat boots so then I tried the cardigan on with my little Valentino boots and to be honest they look not right either haven't been able to wear these out of the house yet so tragically they've still got the label on I think I need to just ooh, I think I need to just pop on a proper outfit underneath this and style it more as a cardigan. Okay, I have automatically retreated back to the safety of a pair of nice, cozy, thick black leggings, aka the only bottoms I pretty much wear these days. I think maybe I've just forgotten how to dress. I've forgotten how to wear things other than leggings, and I'm just not willing to sacrifice being comfortable. I just always have to be, I always need to be comfortable. I'm just not willing to wear an outfit that makes me feel uncomfortable, and I'm not gonna lie, those jeans before. They fit me before lockdown, they don't fit me anymore, so I need to just not bother putting myself through the heartache of wearing those. Um, the Gucci tights, unless I'm wearing, if you watch my, I think it was my Bista Village vlogmas, I showed you my hack, where it's basically wearing really high-waisted, tight underwear over the top of the tights, um, and then that actually keeps them in place and you feel really nice and snug, but you're not gonna wear that when you're just relaxing at home. And here in the UK, we are in lockdown. So this is what I've done with the cardigan and I much prefer it. I have got a couple of long line cardigans in my wardrobe already. You can see one, my Senrev one on the back of the door here, but I don't have any in a natural kind of creamy oak color. My others are white. And I do love them. I do love a long line cardigan. They're so nice for wearing around the house. It's a little bit like a dressing gown, but it's a little bit more acceptable to wear out the house and all day long instead of wearing your dressing gown all day at home. But if you do want to do that, I absolutely would not judge. I definitely have done that a few times this lockdown. So I've got it with it unbelted at the moment, the same little vest top as I had on before. Um, some nice really thick black leggings that are just nice and warm and cozy and I automatically just put on um, These are like my house shoes at the moment. I'm this is actually probably my best purchase of the month I bought these from Netta Porter. They're from a brand called Vince and I've been looking for something which is a step up from slippers to wear around the house, a little bit more supportive, and yet I can also, oh I should have taken the stickers off, I can also wear them outside if I need to run and catch the postman or anything like that. Um, so yeah, these are amazing. I love the little Sherpa crisscross on top of them. So I've been wearing these absolutely loads. I probably could wear my little Prada boots with this outfit as well. And if I wanted to make it a bit more jazzy, let's try adding one of my belts. I mean, obviously I could tie it up with its own belt. Oh my goodness, seriously, everything just looks so much better when I add this belt. I think when the time comes that we're actually leaving the house again, this is how I'm gonna make my casual loungewear outfits feel a little bit more smart. Like if I go out for lunch or out to the farmhouse, I'll literally just add this belt to practically everything in my wardrobe. And it just makes my loungewear feel a little bit smarter. The lighting in here starts to go a little bit crazy around midday, but yeah, just adding this belt has made me change my mind. And now I really, really like this 
cardigan. So I think this is what I'm going to leave on for the rest of the morning. I just popped on the long line cardigan that was behind my door. I thought it was my Senrev one, but it's actually my one from Seen on Her. This is the one that really is like a dressing gown. Like I'd have to be going somewhere really, really cozy. Um, like if I was going to spend all day at Soho Farmhouse just relaxed doing some work there, then I would wear this. But otherwise, it really is something that I just wear when I'm lounging around at home. And it really is the chic answer to a dressing gown. I need to wear this more, I forget. Every time I wear it, I'm like, oh my gosh, why would I ever take this off? But yeah, I do have to say, this is my favorite one for lounging around the house in, because it's just so scrumptiously soft and cozy, oh my goodness. I think I've decided that this weekend I'm just gonna have a real try on session of loads of things in my wardrobe and just reinvigorate and restart my styling brain honestly I just feel like I've forgotten how to how to wear normal clothes but last night I spent a lot of time on my laptop doing a lot of pinning a lot of planning and I think I have finally 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 made up my mind on the finishing touches for both this room and the powder room so I thought I would talk those through with you now this is the best mug of mint tea I think I've ever made I've started putting I can't remember exactly which one it's like the some kind of enriched honey inside a mint tea and it is so so good. It's probably just because the sun is shining, it's such a gorgeous day but uh, on days like today when it's so beautifully lit in here I just honestly could not love this room anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen actually since I had the window seat installed so I sent this fabric over to Heritage quite a while ago and over the Christmas break they created this gorgeous cushion so now I have a nice little window seat. I often plonk myself on here when I am putting my boots on. I know that I owe you guys a full wardrobe tour where everything is etc so that will be coming soon but I think what I've decided and maybe I'll wait until these are in place before I do the wardrobe tour but what I would love to get is a really really big pinky rug here I think that will definitely help with the acoustics in here um, as well as just being a lot more comfortable and obviously I stand down here when I film my videos I have temporarily taken the filter I have this sheet of kind of filter fabric off the window just because I am so affected by the weather and when we have a blue skies day I definitely want to be able to see it and as you can see I've got little velcro strips in the corners so I can very easily attach my um, my filter fabric if and when I'm doing any filming in here and then it just stops this very harsh block of light and instead it diffuses the light so it's all beautifully illuminated in these areas. Love how that corner looks with the roses and the little candle and I have also finally made my mind up for the style of the powder room. I just love coming in here. It feels like a little Alice in Wonderland hidden away room. Um, so at the moment it's still exactly how it was when you last saw it, sorry to disappoint. But okay, so let's use our imaginations. So I've explained before the issue with the pipes. I basically have to have um, like a faux wall built up here because the sinks that I have got from Burlington, which I absolutely love, I need the water coming out at this level, whereas at the moment it comes out at floor level and obviously I don't wanna be able to see all of this ugliness. So what we're doing is we're gonna be building a half height wall, which I'm going to panel and paint a beautiful shade of pink. Then I'm getting a gorgeous wallpaper up here for the rest of the wall. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you'll, see, you'll have seen that I've actually fallen in love with a Gucci wallpaper, typical, that I've fallen in love with the most expensive one. I'll pop a picture on the screen here. So I've ordered a sample of that, as well as loads of other samples of much more affordable wallpapers. So we're gonna have a little play around with those. So there'll be two sinks here. I think I might also get a little rug. I'd love to get a little um, pink boudoir chair here. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna have two mirrors above each sink or one mirror above each sink so there'll be two mirrors and then I'd like to pop some lights either side of each mirror as well. However, I wonder if they could do any chasing considering there's clearly electricity here. I might ask the electrician, probably should have asked before they redid the lime plaster on the walls, 
If not, um, loads of you guys on Instagram stories let me know about this little hack where you can basically put these little um, battery powered bulbs inside lights so you don't actually need to run electricity through the wall. And then I can't quite decide if I would like the rest of the walls wallpapered or painted in the same pinky shade as we'll have the panelling down here. So let me know what you guys think or maybe wait further on in the vlog until I have all the wallpaper samples I can show you. But that is my vision for my little hidden powder room. I need you tonight. Together we can go crazy. This is my luncheon for today. So the tart is a sprout, broccoli and feta tart that I made. Actually, I did do an IGTV of making this tart, which hopefully will be live by the time this vlog goes up. So I'll leave that link down below. Not sure if it's going on my account or the old house, our home account yet. And then we've got some salad at the top there. Some, don't actually know what that is. Purple something or other and chicory walnut um, salad from Dalesford. And then the yellow one is my coronation cauliflower and chickpea, which I made based on Melissa Hemsley's recipe. So I've warmed up the tart, smells delicious, and I'm going to just quickly snuffle this as my lunch. Hello again, my darlings. I just came downstairs to do a little bit of work with the company of my little boys. And I have just had a couple of deliveries, including this brand new cardigan, which is from Needle and Thread. I'm so pleased that they have started doing knitwear. I have the most gorgeous pink cape from them, but they have also just launched this really lovely range of new for 2021 knitwear, including this gorgeous chunky cardigan, which kind of has a similar lattice detail to the Under the Stories cardigan that I was showing you earlier. But I just love this super cozy, kind of like granddad style. It's just exactly what I want to be wearing around the house. And once again, with the low V-neck, I think you definitely need some kind of vest top on underneath. I've just got my silky Reese one on. Looks so nice with a couple of necklaces. This has inadvertently become a kind of what's new in my wardrobe video because I've just realized I have pretty much shown you everything that is new in my wardrobe for the whole year, <laughs> for 2021. But we had another delivery Together just arrived as well. Go, we can go. I look straight in your eyes. So hey, you say it is just and just like that, it is two or three hours later. So as you may have spotted, I was unboxing, <laughs> it didn't take me two or three hours to unbox it. I was unboxing a new vacuum cleaner from Dyson and then it said that you have to fully charge it before you use it. So I went to plug it in and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna save the exciting first time I'm using it um, until Charlie is here because if there's anyone that enjoys vacuum cleaning as much as me, it's Charlie. <laughs> so I've got it plugged in over there. And now that it's a few hours later and Charlie's finished work, I'm too tired <laughs> to do any vacuum cleaning. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But I'll quickly show you um, what is so exciting about this Dyson delivery. Considering we have two very, very hairy little sausages that live in this house with us and our new house is a little bit bigger than our old house. This is the absolutely perfect, the absolute perfect um, new solution from Dyson. So as you can see, there's lots of little accessories or big, I should say, accessories that come with it. But this is essentially, it's called the V11 outsize. So if we compare this to our current Dyson wireless, this um, this bit here, which collects all the dust and all the hair is, I think it said on the press release, 150 times bigger. So basically 50% again, bigger than the traditional, um, what do you call that bit? Bucket holder? dust collector. So if you are cleaning up a bigger mess or if you are vacuum cleaning a bigger house, then this is absolutely incredible. One of the heads is actually bigger as well. So this is the same size as the head that we've got on our existing vacuum cleaner. This one is, again, I would say that's almost 50% bigger, really, really huge. So it's gonna be great for when we're doing big rooms like this. The usual attachments. This one is really good when I have to vacuum clean the walls. Not so much in the panelled rooms, um, but if, like in the kitchen, the walls are stone, this is really, really handy for just running the vacuum cleaner over the walls. 
because you've got that little soft brush attachment. And then there's some new attachments here as well. I don't think the old V11 had this curling bit, so that's gonna be really useful. I don't think we've had this attachment before either. And then you've got the wall connector, so you can just charge this and have it propped up against the wall like our existing one. And then you've got all of these little heads as well. I don't know what this... Oh, maybe this attaches to the extender. That is incredibly useful. This is kind of like a cross between um, the wireless V11 and the big animal that we've got. So this is epic. This is going to come in really, really useful. Very grateful to Dyson for sending Charlie and I this. So I'm going to leave this to charge just a little bit longer. I'll probably leave it overnight. It, it's, to be honest, it's probably already fully charged, but I'm gonna leave it overnight anyway because I'm not gonna be doing any vacuum cleaning this afternoon. And I've just been upstairs to check what Charlie wanted for dinner and he's gonna have a healthy dinner tonight. He's gonna have some salmon and I don't like fish. So I placed an order on this website called Paso, Paso to go and treated myself to some pizzas that you make at home. So even though it's only half past five, I'm absolutely starving. So I think I'm gonna... Head into the kitchen, put some Gossip Girl on, and make myself a pizza. What do you think to that, Lexi? Come on. Together we can go, we can go. I look straight in your eyes. And everything is so hey, you say. It is just you and I. And everything is so, thing is so. So call me out, call me out, baby. And here it is, definitely not the most professional looking pizza, but that literally took me 10 minutes. We have um, had pizzas from this company before. This is what it is. They served me an ad on my Instagram last week and I must have been starving because I ended up ordering two pizzas and two portions of cacio e pepe pasta. So this is my delicious homemade pizza that I'm going to enjoy while watching Gossip Girl on the telly. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. It is now Friday morning. I'm feeling a lot better today because I have washed my hair and I have put a proper face of makeup on today. So I feel a little bit more like myself. We've got a lot of volume going on today because I used my Dyson to give myself some nice waves. I'm gonna have to calm it down a little bit, but I like to let it sit as voluminous as possible for as long as possible because then I feel like it just kind of sets. Maybe that's just me, but that's that's my um, my plan. I'm wearing exactly the same as I was wearing yesterday, and I feel like today I am able to appreciate this cardigan so much more. So this is the one that was very, very kindly sent to me by the Needle and Thread team yesterday. I unboxed this or opened this with you yesterday. And I didn't actually notice yesterday that it has loads of beautiful um, scallop details on it. It's got a scalloped edge down here at the bottom, nicely contrasted against my leggings, and it's also got scalloping on the sleeves. I don't know why I didn't notice that yesterday. <laughs> scalloping is one of my favourite kind of design details, so I just feel very, very comfy cosy in this. I haven't filmed my Sunday fashion video yet, um, but I have... Excuse me. Sorry, I thought I had a puppy dog. Um, yes, I haven't filmed my Sunday fashion video yet, but I have got it all planned out in the notes on my laptop, so there is definitely a dog down there. Dickie. That's Dexter. Maybe not. I thought I heard you escaping. I'm sorry, little boy. I'm blaming you for no reason whatsoever. My solar-powered puppy is charging himself in the sunshine. That is very strange. I thought I could hear somebody upstairs with me, but both the dogs downstairs and Charlie is out at the recycling centre. Very strange. So I am now just going to tootle around and gather all of my bits and bobs that I'm going to be talking about in my fashion video. I think the lighting in my dressing room is going to be amazing today because it's such a beautiful day, so I'm going to get everything set up in there. I feel like there was something else I needed to show you this morning. I don't know, it'll come to me later. 
It is now about four hours later. I have finished filming my video and I now have that post filming fatigue. Oh my goodness. I want nothing more right now than to just lie on the sofa with my doggies and do a little bit of editing. I find editing very therapeutic. So I'm quite looking forward to editing this video. I don't think it'll take too long, but because I had to do some try on clips, it was just one of those videos that took so, so long to film. I am staying in the last outfit that I filmed and it is so comfy cozy this is a little two-piece loungewear set i've got my favorite little slippers on um and it just feels so cozy and i love that it's actually properly matching something about having matching loungewear that just makes you feel as though you've actually put a little bit of thought and effort into your outfit this is what it looks like it's essentially just very classic um like marl knitwear then the leggings well wow, they're not leggings that's a great thing i feel so loose and free they are obviously elasticated at the top to make them super super comfortable but they're just kind of wide leg trousers i think this would be a really nice fairly chic flying outfit when we're allowed to travel again so yeah i'm going to keep this on because it is so cozy so i need to pack away there's actually not that much masks so i did do quite a bit of putting stuff away um as I finished filming. So I just need to pop my lights away, the stragglers, and then it's time to curl up with a nice cup of coffee and do some editing. it doesn't come to any surprise that I could not wait to play with our new Dyson and I just wanted to show you a visual example of why this new um, I checked and it's 150% bigger bin and the new head is 25% bigger and this is why we need it for this house I have just done I've literally only done a whiz around the drawing room and a whiz around the family room as you've just seen and this is how full the bin is and you know why Lin you know who's to blame? <sighs> Judging by the colour of what is in this bin, I think we know who's to blame. <laughs> and it's not like we don't vacuum clean our house. Charlie is quite OCD when it comes to vacuum cleaning, so we probably do this every day or every other day, and that is that is what collects. So this is going to be really, really helpful. He's actually got the old vacuum cleaner out, so I'll show you by comparison. So here's the two side by side. This is the original and this is the outsize. So you can really see how different um, the size of the heads are. And you can also see this is the new head, which is 25% bigger. It did also come with one this size as well. So if you've got any little nifty corners, like around under dining tables, you can still use a smaller head if you want to. That's the battery I'd like. Well, I presume it's the same, if not better. Well, to be fair, the battery's not anyway. Yeah, the battery in this one, we can pretty much do the whole ground floor of the house on one battery. I reckon that, I reckon that one. <laughs> this is my train. I'm blocking a tyre. Do you want one of my medical Should masks? So we have an old jumper, but I don't mind getting covered in SHIT. Charlie's about to unrod Body our one. drains. Yeah. And this mask to hold back the smell. Do you want to put one of, of Do you want to put my house. medical mask on? No, that's all right. Lovely, we've got a blocked sink so Charlie's about to go and rod the drains. Glamorous times. A very glamorous job indeed. Um, yeah, we find the battery life on these absolutely incredible. If we still lived in our Clapham house, it could do the whole house. But here we can still do an entire floor on one charge and I often put it on the max mode as well. So you can see if I was to keep it on auto, this is saying that I would have 43 minutes charge. If I was to do it on eco, you'd have absolutely ages. If I was to put it on boost, I'm not sure if it'll tell me now. <laughs> Oh yeah, 14 minutes. So yeah, 15 minutes of it on full whack, but you really don't even need it on full whack. Um, so yeah, that is absolutely incredible. I am now going to whiz around upstairs. Um, 
because it is very satisfying. Oh, hello, young man. I'm glad to see you approve as well, because it's your hair that I'm picking up, you little snuffle chops. I'm gonna go around and do some vacuum cleaning, and I will see you later. So after whizzing around with it on boost for a good 20 minutes, the battery is now dead, but the great thing is it slots into the same um, charging unit as our original Dyson V11, so we don't need to install any new charging unit. I think Charlie actually bought this um, online. This is not the one that it comes with. The one that it comes with is great if you don't mind drilling into your walls. You can basically drill it in um, in your utility room and then just pop it, slide it into charge, but we didn't want to do any drilling. So we bought this stand. Um, if I ask Charlie where it's from, I'll leave it linked down below, but this is brilliant. You just clip it in. And as I said, normally I'd have to em empty the bin every single time. And even though it is absolutely disgusting how much dirt I've managed to collect in 15 minutes, Minutes. I'd much rather it be in here than in my house. So this is brilliant. It means a few less trips to the bin during the winter, which I'm very much appreciative for. So thank you very much, Dyson, <laughs> for sending us the new, I was about to call it a supersonic, the new V11 outsize. Well, I've just been sat here editing the vlog that you're watching now for the last, it's probably taken me about an hour and a half to edit. It's getting dark outside now and I have got my little assistant. Oh, this little boy has to always be wherever his mummy is. You are so lovely. The second I sit down anywhere, even if it's on the stairs, on the floor, if I sit down anywhere, this little boy will be on my lap within a matter of seconds. He is such a mummy's boy, such a little cuddler. He just always just wants to be with you. Oh, my baby. You are so, you are so precious. Do you know that you're so precious to me? Dex is a little more independent. I think he's taken himself to bed already, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because it is currently 52 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut that down a little bit, I think. This evening, we're having a very chilled one. We, oh, sorry little boy. We are going to be watching the film, the movie of Downton Abbey. We have been watching the, re-watching the TV series. I don't think Charlie and I ever watched the last season ever before because we didn't know what was gonna happen, um, but I won't do any spoilers. All I'm gonna say is that I switched from Team Mary to Team Edith. <laughs> in the very last few episodes um but i'm quite sad that it's over i'm really really sad that it's over with regards to the series because it really it's such a magical thing to watch it really is such a lovely a lovely series so if you haven't watched downton abbey i would highly recommend it so we're gonna enjoy watching the film tonight i think we're gonna cook like pizzas or i know i had pizza last night but charlie didn't so <laughs> Um, or pasta or something. It is Friday after all and I think we're gonna watch the film either here or up in the snug room upstairs. So I'm gonna sign off so I can get this vlog done, wrapped up for the weekend, uploaded, exported. Yes. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the vlog, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you on Thursday. Bye bye Do you know what everybody? Do you know what would make me really really happy? Do you know what would make me really, really happy? If you haven't, then please click the subscribe button down below. Because mummy said that when she hits 500,000 subscribers, she's going to buy me an extra special treat. So everybody, for me, if you're one of the 37% of people that watches mommy's videos without clicking the subscribe button, just do it now. Just do it right now.